everybody. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Jim Coppinger with Zentech Consultants. And today we're going to be talking about our Zentech review tools for structural takeoffs. Uh, we're going to cover what they are, how you can use them, and how you can purchase them. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So for those of you who haven't worked with us before, we're Zentech Consultants. We're a premier Bluebeam partner. And that means we provide sales, technical support, training for all Bluebeam review uh, related products. And obviously with our Zentech review tools, where uh, we've developed and we're selling our own industry specific tool chests that you can plug in and work with right inside of Bluebeam review that you might already have. And uh, we hope that you guys will keep us in mind if and when you're ready to either add seats or uh, renew your current subscriptions. Um, we're a premier Bluebeam partner, and that means that we're always able to kind of beat that Bluebeam direct pricing. So we hope we hope you'll keep us in mind when it comes time for that. So let's start off by talking about what are our Zentech review tools. Like I said, they're they're tool chests, right? That plug in directly inside of the Bluebeam review software that you already own, right? and we've broken them down into suites of tools for specific industries and trades. And the idea is to give your users a real easy to use but versatile set of tools that will get you know fast, accurate, and repeatable output on all of your takeoff projects. That's a big thing. Being able to get consistent output from all of your staff is a real big uh, benefit for everybody. So uh, let's go ahead and move on. Oop, for some reason, my mouse is there. We go. All right. Sorry about that. So what is the Zentech Review Tool Structural Set? Right. The Zentech Review Tool Structural Set is a collection of tools that, that's developed specifically for users who need to do regular takeoff on structural steel for buildings, really. Um, we put in a bunch of easy-to-use tools for columns, beam, connections, so on. Things that your people will be able to use you know, repeatedly on every job and get a consistent, easy, quick output. Okay. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump over to review and actually take a look at our uh, structural set and exactly what it can do for you. So you see that over here on the left hand side, I've got the tool chest turned on. You can see that we've got the Zentech review tool structurals put in place. And in, in the Zentech review two structures, we have eight pallets with 144 independent tools for your staff to use. So why is this important? Why do you need these tool chests? Well, one of the biggest struggles that I watch people go through all the time, particularly when you're doing measurements and markups, Right, is the fact that whatever you're doing inside of Bluebeam, people are, are, are forever going in and having to take you know measurements for beam length and they're drawing lengths and then they have to come in and they have to set sizes and labels and colors and fonts, right? All of these different tools. Same thing when they're going in and they want to start using things like symbol counts, right? Right out of the box, you have some real basic symbol structures built into Bluebeam that you can use, but to differentiate and structure these, again, you have to go in and start changing colors and line types and layers and all other kinds of things to get the kind of output that you want. It's a very manual process that you have to do for every object that you're placing inside of your PDF, and you have to repeat that on every single uh, project that your, your folk are working on. So the idea behind the tool chest is that you can build a collection of your own tools here, right? and this is what we've gone ahead and done for you. So you can see, for example, if I come over here, I've got the demolition set. So when I come in and I want to you know, go in and say, hey, listen, there are certain areas that I need to demolish or certain volume depths, whatever, I can come in and I can very easily go in right, and say, listen, we have to demolish everything inside of this room. All right? So I can go in here real easily and just outline the room. And you see it comes up with a standard predefined display. Right? And we've also integrated the, ba the concept of basic labeling. Right? We're with the labeling. We can go in and, and label whatever we want, label a floor in this area. Okay, so I'm just going to say, you know, de demolish the floor. And you see it's giving me all the takeoff quantities that I need. All right? Similarly, I can do the same thing with uh, linear structure. So I can go in if I've got uh, demolition lines, if we need to take down a, a structural beam or an existing wall, right? I can come in here and say, hey, just like that, dropping it in, and I can easily just change the demolition description to, you know, demo 12-inch I-beam, whatever it is I need to do. Okay, so just like that. I can label and identify these items. And you'll note that all of these items are being tracked and structured down here inside of my markups list. Okay. So again, we've got tools in there for areas, lines, volumes. We can do uh, demolition objects. So again, if we've got, you know, beams or column covers or whatever we need to pull out, 
I can easily just go in and take those out. And you'll note that when you use any of our Zentech review tools count objects, that they're, they're grouped together. You see they come in as one set and it's showing you here that we've got a demo description. I can do the same thing, just change it, say, hey, you know, let's demo the column covers. Okay, and you can see that I've got two of those. Okay, and with any of our Zentech review tool uh, counts, you can at any point just right click on it and resume count. So if there are other objects that you need to demolish of the same type, and you can see that automatically it resumes that symbol, that count, that identification, even that label on all of those items. So it makes it very easy to go in and count using predefined symbols that we put in place for you. We can do the same thing with volume. So if you're going in, you need to you know uh, demolish out and, and handle a, a particular um, depth or, or, or you know a concrete floor. I can come in here and very easily say, hey, let's go ahead and just do a uh, six inch and we're just gonna demo the concrete floor or concrete pad, whatever it may be. And you see it handles all the calculations, everything that you need, okay? So this is the idea. It's about giving your people simple point and click tools that they can use on every project and you get repeatable results from every single job. So when you open a, uh, you know, an estimate or a project that's been worked on by anyone else, you'll immediately be able to recognize what every item is. Right? And it saves you just a lot of time in going through and having to, you know, modify the properties for each and every takeoff item that you put onto your plants. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you'll also see that up here we've got these broken down into different categories, our pallets, right? So we've got, you know, channels and connections, decking, demo, I and L shapes, plates, even W shapes. All right, so I'm just gonna go through some of these real quick and talk about the, uh, the features in each one. So you see that when you go into the channels, you'll see that the channels are broken into both a column and a beam structure. Right for the basic, you know, uh, C sizes that we have, and then you can go in on any of these and add the depths. Right, so it's a very easy thing. So if I want to go in and drop a, uh, you know, C8 columns in here, right? and I can just go and say, hey, you know, we've got some C8 columns here, you know, and here and here. Okay, and you can see just like every other symbol, it's actually coming in as a count system. Right, so you can see I've got three of those, and you see I can very easily change here either up in my properties label or I can do it down here under my labels, and I can change the depth and say, okay, these are C8 by 12s. And there you go, just like that, I've got three C8 by 12s. And like all our other count objects, you can just go ahead and resume that count, right? And I can throw in more wherever I need it, and you see it's updating my actual count for how many C8 columns I have, all right? By the same token, I can easily go in, and if I'm gonna throw a, uh, let's do a, a C6 beam, right? So I got C8 columns, I'm doing C6 beams, and I'm gonna go from this one to this one, right? I can just go ahead and drop those in. Oops, sorry, I hit the wrong, wrong button there, and I just double click to end it. And you can see that they come in, and they're giving us the actual beam length, right? And it's a C7 by same thing. I can go and say hey, that's a C7 by uh, 10, right? And I can go in and I can add more of those, right? Just continue on another C7 by 10. It goes from here to here, right? Just go ahead and change that to a 10. Right? And then you see down here, I can actually I just go ahead and sort by labels. And you see that I'm getting all of my C7 sorted together and my actual total length. Right? And the other thing that we've done with our Zentech review tools, uh, particularly where it pertains to the columns, is the ability to actually set the beam heights. Right? So if this was you know, a 14 foot high beam, you can easily do that. Right? In every one of our objects, we've also applied the concept of being able to put in section tabs. Uh, so when you get to a particular column, if you need to call out all right, this is, you know, detail two on, you know, S6, right, to get the uh, the structural detail so you can actually refer your people back to specific connection details. Not a problem. It's already right here as a custom column built in place for you. All right, so you see it's pretty straightforward. You can go through and grab any one of the, the beams or column structures that we have here for your channels. Um, on every one of these pallets, by the way, you will see this uh, suggest a Zentech review tool. You just click, click and drop that onto your um your PDF and then you can just click on it and it'll send an email directly to our development team. So if there are tools or structures that you want to see that aren't in our tool palette yet, that's how we develop our next release. So we hope you guys will use that. Give us some, some good solid feedback on what's going to be most beneficial to you. Um, so we've also got a whole series of pallets for different connections, right? So again, I can come in and I can start to identify the specific connections for any of these. So if I've got, you know, weld connections, I can call out a weld here and a weld here, right? And you can see, again, those are being joined together because now I can actually refer those to a specific weld detail. So, so if this weld type, uh, you know, A1, right, I can just go and I can see I've got two weld type A1s, 
right? If I've got a bolt and weld connect, bolt and weld connections, right? I've got different symbols for those that I can drop in. And again, you see they come in as a group set, so I can label all of one type in one shot. Right? And I can go ahead and put that in. Say so that's you know a, you know B4 bolt and weld. Right? So I can keep track of all my columns. I've got bolt connections work the same way. Okay, so I got symbols for bolt connections. Right? And at any point, I can actually see right now they come in as a set of two. I can always with the Zentech um, review tools, I can just use a basic split count. Okay, so now you see I've got two individual setups. So I can actually make this one a bolt detail one and make this one a bolt detail nine. If that's what they are. So you see, I got different bolt details that I can use, different structures, but I can use that same basic bolt symbol detail and change the specific information for each and every symbol if I need to. All right, we can call out side plate detail numbers, right? Um, we've got, again, detail tags that we can label things out to go along with our section tag down here. So you see, I can actually go in and call out the actual detail tag. So if I want to refer them to, you know, detail four on S12. Right, just like that, I can just go ahead and tag that, and then you can start to sort and refer all the details. You can call out information for your estimators or anybody in the field that they need to take a look at. All right, we can even get into working with uh, more detailed information in terms of uh, enlarged details. Um, so if you want to go in and take off things like weld distances, and you see I can go in and I can handle butt welds, right? T welds, they all come with different structures and colors and symbols, so you can see what they are corner, lap, and edge welding. All right, so I can actually run you know, the number of inches or feet that I have of each type of weld, right? all built into place here, all simple tools that you can point out and grab, right? Also to go along with that, we put in a number of tools built in here for um, decking, different different types of structural decking that you can work with, whether it's 12 or 14 gauge floor, okay? Or if you're doing with, you know, deck plate, right? and you see that each of those come in pretty simple. I'm just gonna kind of draw some rectangles here. So if we're, you know, running floor plate over there, see it's giving me a general area. Right? And if I got corrugated deck plate, maybe going in a different area, you know, from here to here, going just like that. And so you can actually get, right, differences, quick, easy layouts for all of your uh, deck plates and different gauges that you might need. Okay. And again, it's going to give you the summary totals down here on the bottom. Okay. So talked about demolition. Um, just like the, the, uh, the channel shapes we talked about, we've got an entire array of our, uh, our, our eye shapes going all the way up through the, the S24s, right, from S3s to S24s. Again, the same concept to keep it simple and consistent, right, that you go in and drop in, you know, your columns wherever you need them, right? So I've got a column here and a column here. I'm just doing some, you know, quick counts and a column here. And you see right now, I know that those are all the same size, right? I know those are all, you know, S10 by uh, 24s, okay? And I can just go ahead and put those in. And now you see I've got a nice running count of all the S10 by 24s. I can tie them to sections. I can adjust the beam, or excuse me, the column height, all in one shot, right? So the same concept and how these apply work the same between all of the different shape types, whether it's eye shapes, we've got a whole library of uh, angles, right? So you got all your L shapes in here that you can use, all the typical sizes, okay? And you've got uh, more plate details. So again, when you get into doing, um, you know, different connections and connection types and how they're going, you can actually go in Right? And you can bring in a length of, you know, a, a, a plate connection. And you see here, it's it lets you go in and you can actually set the width and say, hey, you know, this is a four inch wide plate. Right? And it's 13.5 feet long or 13 feet, five inches long in this case. Really long, probably not plates that long usually. But it's there. So you got all that information. And again, you can just keep track by summary total based on the labels and whatnot that we have down here. Okay. So we've got all the standard plate sizes that you might use. So you get all the length and width, all the information you need. And we've also got a full library of uh, W shapes, right? Your wide flange shapes are all in here as well, working the same way with the beam and column structure. So you can just go in and throw in, you know, columns where you need them and then just go ahead and throw in a, uh, a beam right in between them. And one of the things, so you see you can get the individual beam lengths and do connect to connect. But sometimes when you've got um, multiple connected structures, you're just trying to do some quick overall Takeoffs. Um, you see, for example, here I can do this W12. You notice that all of our uh, beams here are actually structured for multiple segment takeoff. All right. So if you've got a series of W12s that all kind of connect together, and then you want to just come back in and drop columns on these vertices points, not a problem. You see, you can get overall summary for a total run length, or you can actually even go in and show each of the individual segment values. Okay. So you can see everything that's going on here with these tools in your tool chest. So it's a real easy 
simple to access set of tools. And the other thing that we've done with all of these, by the way, right, is that we do try to put these, you know, these onto to layers. So you can see that we can actually go in and do things like turning off the structural steel. So you see like all the plates and the weld symbols and so on are being turned off. All right. So we've built layer controls directly into all of our tools here as well. OK, so that really gives you an idea of what we're doing uh, with the Zentech view tools. They're just a simple tool chest that plugs in directly inside Bluebeam. OK, so let's talk about um, what you can actually. There we go. All right. So for those of you who are interested, how can we purchase Zentech review tools? You can only buy those through Zentech consultants um, and we sell them uh, as a one time perpetual use license on a per seat basis with optional annual maintenance, which means that you get. Uh, the, the next uh, upgrade as, you know, the new releases of Bluebeam come out, we update our tools and make new modifications to them and give you the next release if you keep it under maintenance. And if you need a price quote, you can reach out to sales at zentechconsultants.net. Um, and what if you only want certain structural tools? We've had a number of folks who have say, hey, I only need the decking and the plates. Not a problem. We will sell you the individual pallets as well with the same one-time perpetual license per seat basis structure. Okay. Um, and we do have other Zentech review tools available. If you do more than just structural work, um, as of right now, we have four industry packages that are available. We've got a whole bunch more we expect to roll out throughout the course of this year. Um, so right now we've got uh, exteriors and interiors, structural and site work, right, to handle all your basic building components. Easy to get started for anybody who works for a GC or does any kind of general uh, estimating and takeoff, okay? Um, other than that, I wanna thank you guys for spending time with us today. And uh, my personal email is up here on this, uh, the screen. And you can always reach out to sales at zentechconsultants.net, excuse me, to get price quotes or more information. Or if you have any technical questions, feel free to reach out to me directly. So uh, thank you guys for joining us today. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.